Hey guys, today I want to chat to you a little bit about DC to DC step down converters. So the last video we spoke a bit about voltage and current. In this video I want to chat to you a little bit about how you can use regulators to change or control your voltage. So in front of us here, we've got a small little module called a DC to DC step down module. So what this little guy does is he'll take a 24 volt input and he'll bring it down to 5 volts completely stable and regulated. What this allows us to do is we can put any input on here that is uh, up to 24 volts. So that's our battery packs, um, power supplies, maybe a car battery, uh, a sealed lead acid battery from alarm systems. That'll go onto this device and we are guaranteed to get a USB out. DC to DC step down converters come in a bunch of different shapes and sizes. This is obviously a very small little guy. You get versions that look like that. You get versions that have uh, LCD screens on them that look something like that um, and they all do similar things some more sophisticated than others but today we're just going to have a look at the USB version for practical purposes in front of me here also have a lead acid battery as you can see here is a 4 volt uh, 7 amp hour version and uh, if you plug this directly into your cell phone you have a dead phone <laughs> uh, this will blow your phone immediately I'm going to run this battery through the regulator and we're going to see how we can charge my phone. But let's solder this guy up real quick. That's all done. As you can see, here's the regulator. I hope you can see. Uh, here's the regulator and I've soldered some wires on it that go to two terminals and these terminals are going to be our positive and our negative for this big lead acid battery. I'm going to have to swap cameras because I need to charge my phone with this but I'm actually currently recording with it so for the next part of this video I'm going to do it with that camera instead so let's have a look quickly. Alright cool so let's try it this way so I've got my regulator with the USB port on it I've got a USB cable, the battery and I've got my cell phone so Let's have a look here. I'm just going to be behind the camera for a second. Here's the regulator, which you can have a look at right there. And then we've got the battery, which is our 12 volt battery. And then that all comes out to a USB, goes into my phone. Cool. So what we need to do is first we need to just connect this battery. I'm going to do this one handed. So once we connect this like that, we can see that a little light appears. Cool. So we know that the regulator is working and we're safe to go. So here, we have our USB, I'm going to plug that in and see what happens. God, this is so awkward with one hand. In. Eleven percent. Perfect. Well, no, not perfect because I have the film with that now. So that there, that whole process of charging off a lead acid battery. These are very similar to the ones that you would find in um, alarm systems or security gates and things like that. Look, this is a kind of a cool, this is kind of a cool power bank backup. <laughs> if, if, uh, provided all your power banks run out of juice and you have no electricity. So that is what helps us with 5 volts. But what happens when we need something like from 24 volts to 12 volts? Or maybe you need something seriously specific for a router or modem or something. Like maybe you need 16 volts. Maybe you need 9.3 then what do you do? What we do then is we use another module that's completely adjustable. So let's try a wire up one of those now and we can test. Alright guys, so that's all soldered up. As you can see, there you've got your input and your output. So if you have a look on this cam here, on the, on the solder cam, um, I've got on this side, I've got our inputs, positive and negative, and then on the output, negative, positive. Alright, so what I've done is on the input, I have the 12 volt battery that we spoke about earlier connected. So you will see on the multimeter here, we have a reading of 12.21. That's the current voltage level of this lead acid battery. Now on the output, I have obviously connected this multimeter. So I can measure what the output voltage is gonna be 
of the module. So as I spoke about before, these modules are completely adjustable. I can now say, well, I have 12, I need nine, I need 11, I need something different, I need something way less than 12, right? So I can just put screwdriver on this screw right here, you see that, and if I turn this anti-clockwise, watch the digits in the multimeter. As I turn it, um, they keep going down. So I can drop this, say for example, I need uh, six volts. I can keep dropping this all the way down to six volts if I need. Eight, nine, Oh, we just passed it. So there we go, six volts. 5.96, six volts. On this end of the module, you'll see, I have connected the multimeter. I have now a solid six volts. Okay guys, that's uh, that pretty much sums up this video. I hope this helps. Like I said, these modules are really helpful for all kinds of work with electronics. They're super affordable. They're around a couple of dollars of Amazon, of eBay. If you're in South Africa, you can obviously get them at NetRAM. They're really, really cool modules and they help for any occasion. Even if you're not dealing with electronics and you just need something to bring down a certain volts, maybe in your car or you have some solar panels in the garage somewhere and you need to bring the voltage down or regulate the voltage, these devices are the ones you need to use. Thanks so much for watching. Like I said, if this helped us, I'm really happy. If you think maybe someone else needs to see this video, please don't forget to subscribe if you're watching us on YouTube or comment in the section below. If you like the video, it really helps out the channel. It also helps other people see these videos so everyone can get educated in this type of thing. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.